Pisces, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into the energies around you at the moment. And then we will take a look into the events coming up for you in the next few months. Let's now start with your main energy. Okay. Your first message today is don't let your past hold you back. And this is already a very important message right here. You know, our past is always our greatest asset and our worst asset at the same time. It's something that we can learn from, something we have to learn from. But sometimes it's also important to unlearn. There are tools that we develop throughout the years, things we do or things we think that help us overcoming obstacles and issues. But there are moments in which we need to let go of those tools because instead of helping us and protecting us, they might have just become this very heavy baggage we carry around everywhere we go. It's almost as if you have packed all of your clothes and then you decide to bring those heavy bags everywhere you go, to the grocery store, to the coffee shop. Do you really need all of that? Is that really helping you in that current environment, in that current situation? So definitely an important message for you today, Pisces. Let's see then what this message is about. Let's do our three shuffles and let's begin with your reading. All right, Pisces, what's going on here? This is not your type of energy at all. But obviously, keep in mind that energies go both ways. We might be looking at you here or someone you are now thinking about. Now, if this is you, first of all, the Hermit and the Eight of Swords down here, I see that you're not willing to open up not willing to build expectations anymore, not willing to gamble your balance and stability anymore. Especially after what you have gone through with this Five of Cups, which is not an easy energy to go through. There is something that you might have just experienced or something that you went through in the past, but that internally you never really got resolved. And this is the thing with experiences we don't get full closure on. They really do not go anywhere. We just distract ourselves, trying to find something else to focus on. But the issue is that they're still there because we carry them within us everywhere we go, just like we were saying with the main energy earlier. And as soon as we lower our guard, or as soon as we go through a moment of weakness, they might come back stronger than ever. Now, what is it that you might have internalized? I can already tell you, some of you will not agree with me on this one because the Eight of Swords is an energy that acts on your subconscious, an energy that most times you're not aware about, but that impacts you and your actions deeply. As I usually say, in fact, the hardest wounds to heal are the ones we can't see. And this is an example of that. Now, what I see is a disappointment, a heartbreak that truly left a footprint on your confidence, on the image that you have of yourself as well. Something that perhaps in that specific moment made you feel inadequate or not good enough but something that as the strong Pisces that you are, you managed to come out of. But I can tell there is still a part of you that is impacted by it. 
a part of you which is still wondering, what if that's true? What if I am not good enough? Now, this element pushes you to always wanting to improve yourself, always striving for being the best at what you do, which is nothing bad to strive for, but I can't help but feeling a background of insecurity behind that need to be the best. As if you were trying to prove something to the world. And I have something to say about that. The only person you ever have to impress is yourself, Pisces. No one else, period. It goes without saying that this message comes up for you now because there is something that you're currently blocking and that needs your attention. So let's see what this is about. Now, look at this, Pisces. The Empress reversed, caused by the King of Cups, Knight of Cups as well. There is definitely something very emotional going on here. Something that you're seeing as a situation or a person that if you engage with or fully engage with will eventually put you in a position where you have to open up again. Your fear comes from the fact that the door that needs to be opened up in this case has been keeping something hidden behind it. Whatever has happened in the past with a previous partner or something that happened in your family, maybe when you were little, it's somewhere in there and you're having a hard time opening up because you know that in the moment that you make yourself vulnerable, all kinds of ghosts have to come out of that door. And right now you might be thinking, if I care about anything, then I have to care about everything. In other words, if I look into this potential new love beginning, then I have to deal with the previous disappointment on which you never got full closure. This is also about building hope and expectations again. As we were saying at first, you haven't done that in a while. And right now, you don't know if you want to put yourself in that position once more. A position from which there is a lot to gain, but also a lot to lose. There is a constant second guessing here, which again, you or the person who's experiencing this energy might not even know about. But I really acts like a feedback loop, you know? It starts small, but it gets echoed and it grows exponentially with no way to stop it other than shutting everything down. And this is what you might need to do right now. Just take some time apart from this and focus on yourself. This King of Cups is someone very patient, someone who knows that it's time to detach and disconnect from everything and everyone for the time being. It's more important than you might think right now. The cards could have given you this message at any time. This is not something that just started right now, but the difference is that this time, there is something or someone around you, perhaps with this incoming King of Cups, Knight of Cups energy, and the higher fent right here, that you do not want to miss out on. Your next cycle might very well depend on this. Now, right here, the Hierophant, Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, and Ace of Cups. Look at this energy right here. You or someone around you is about to make a bold move, a move forward that can not be ignored and that can determine a brand new beginning. So far filled with passion, attraction, and love. And we'll see the potential of this for the long-term future. But it's clear that someone soon is going to reveal an attraction and a wish to either start something, aces, or take things further to a place where they might become official, stable with this higher fend. This is some sort of traditional type of connection. This is definitely something that is trying to grow and its growth depends all on you right now, Pisces. I hate to say it, but it's true. As your main energy said, don't let your past hold you back. In trying to understand that other people's mistakes or decisions do not have to impact your self-worth and do not have to impact your journey at all. You know, 
just like train tracks. The two journeys are always detached. They might have ran in parallel at some point in time, but one doesn't depend on the other. This is the time for you to claim what's yours, Nine of Cups. This is the time for you to get back on track and finally start opening up to everything that this life has been waiting to give you. Go ahead with determination, with pride, and with your head up high because as long as you are your beautiful self, Pisces, you have nothing to fear, even in the place of rejection. Anything that doesn't work out, it wasn't meant to work out. And for any door that might close, even in the future, there is another one opening somewhere else. It's your job to find it. It's your job to do what's right for you. And it's your job to take responsibility for your own happiness. No one else's. And here we see that you need to walk away from negativity. You need to walk away from whatever that footprint has made you believe. Because you have to go from this Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, a place where you can finally be happy with everything and everyone who's around you. So, a lot of abstract concepts, which are at the base of everything that happens around you. But now, let's focus on the details by clarifying especially the incoming energies. Let's see what it is that is coming your way and how it's bound to change your life, your world, once you decide to go in with confidence and once you decide to open up the door to it once again. Let's look into it. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Pisces, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30-minute live reading. The reading will be live. We will talk face-to-face -face on webcam. Prepare for that and prepare with three main questions. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back, Pisces, to your extended reading. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the incoming events. Oh, such a beautiful card, the star. And let me just tell you what the star represents, what the meaning of the star is. The star talks about miracles talks about things that you might have thought at some point were impossible to happen, finally instead starting to take shape around you. This talks about rebuilding confidence and hope after difficulties and an unexpected attraction, unexpected love. This card reminds you that we all go, go through highs and lows, but right now this is telling you, you know what Pisces, you have suffered enough, enough of all the things that kept you down up to this point. And let's start instead with the things that are going to make you fly, that are going to make you happy. Expectations fulfilled, wishes granted. What is this about? By the way, Nine of Cups and the Star, they both talk about wishes granted. Oh my God, <laughs> Nine of Cups right here as well. I get so excited. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see what's coming your way. Let's see what you should expect in the near future, starting from the Knight of Cups, which is what you are looking at right now, what, what perhaps you are wishing for and what you're fearing at the same time. So let's start by clarifying the Knight of Cups. Hold on, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Four of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Three of Pentacles. This is really, really beautiful for you. And for one specific reason, because you have...